All right, next on stage, we have Marion Abram. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm waiting on my first slide. Okay, so I produce a Spartan Up podcast, and I'm here to talk to you about some of the things I've learned about resilience from editing and producing 400 episodes of the Spartan Up podcast. And one of the first things that I've learned is that you've got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And so I'm living that right now because I'm super uncomfortable up here. But you've got to get out of your comfort zone. The thing is that producing Spartan Up and the guests that I work with, I can't feel bad about it. Uh, when you do a podcast about resilience, there are no excuses. Uh, so we work with people like Travis Roy. Travis Roy had a lifetime dream to be an NFL player. And in his first five seconds on the ice, there was a freak accident. He was paralyzed from the chest down. We brought him into our office to be on the podcast, and he got stuck there because the freight elevator wouldn't work. That was the only elevator he could ride in. Four hours he was stuck in our office, but you know what? He didn't complain at all. He just inspired our entire staff. So once you've learned to deal with pain, you can demonstrate extraordinary strength. And so the guests that we deal with have shown that to me. Uh, so Travis Roy deals with no all the time. No, he understands, just like Nate Carr says, stands for next opportunity. I'm sure as a podcaster, you guys have all dealt with a lot of no's in your life. And sometimes we give ourselves the no, we stop ourselves. I have stopped myself before I start because I don't want to hear that no. And that's what Major League Baseball player Eric Burns, he said, it's the start that stops you. I thought that was a pretty powerful thought. So if I hadn't started, I would not have met the PhD students at Cornell who study happiness. And they taught me that according to their studies, happiness doesn't come from things. If you spend money on experiences, you will have longer lasting joy in your life. And so one of those experiences is being up on this stage. One of those experiences is the journey of podcasting. But some people never start that journey. And why not? Because most people are afraid to find out that their best isn't good enough. That's pretty intense. So for me, the journey has been a long one, and I've come to understand that success is about health, creativity, career, relationships, all of those. As Maria Shavacampo said, health is about more than just not being sick. So what do you do when you have that health? What do you do with that good health? That's what's important. And so that health and that success. Kareem Jude, who uh, endured extreme, extreme difficulties, made his mission. He said, I will help one person every day of my life. And we can't accomplish any of that without self-discipline. There's no way that there would be over 400 episodes of the Spartan Up podcast without a little bit of self-discipline. Uh, it's an investment. It's what you have to do to get things done. And don't get me wrong, I have a long way to go there. One of those examples is Amanda Sullivan. She um, was hit by a car not once but twice, the second time on her way to her physical therapy appointment for her first. And she now is still learning to walk and inspiring others. Look at Meb Kaflegi. He's one of the best American marathoners, and he won the Boston Marathon a year after the Boston Marathon bombing. And he did it because he believed that having a goal greater than yourself will drive you further. So no matter what your goal is, no matter what your journey is, Aaron Hine, the founder of FitAid, told me, you need three things. You need alignment within your team, within your group, within your family. You need trajectory. So you think about the space shuttle. If it had been off by one degree, it wouldn't have ended up in the right place. And you need momentum. So where are you going, though? What's your goal? Well, for me, for many of us, it's happiness. Well, a lot of us think that happiness means having what you want. But Pete Cohen told me that happiness is wanting what you have. How do you find that out? You find that out through failure. And Dean Carnassus taught me to fail boldly. So hopefully I don't experience that today. That's my goal. But if I have to, I will. Failing boldly is a way to learn. And how did I get myself up here? Well, fear guru Patrick Sweeney, who we had on the podcast, he told me you can make decisions based on opportunity or based on fear. And I've made this decision to be up here based on opportunity and harness that fear to give me greater focus. So we talk a lot about suffering and intentional suffering and struggle and getting comfortable being uncomfortable. We don't do it because we love to suffer. We do it, as Mobility Wad founder Kelly Starrett said, because if you practice suffering, you will be better at making decisions and making good choices when the struggles that life hands you do come up. So as my friend, underground strength coach Zach Evanesh says, don't talk about it, be about it. That means just do it. 
And I will close with one statement. In order to get to 400 episodes and to learn all these lessons, you have to be agile, you have to be nimble, you have to let go of the ego if you can and resilient. And so everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face.